Uh, let's open up our discussion of the hoarding question with um, what I currently perceive to be the biggest issue in the usual approach to solving it with the usual um, attempts, I should say, to tackle it. And that is starting at the end, skipping to conclusions, uh, putting the cart ahead of the horse, uh, reading the book from the end. And by that I mean when, let's say, you are approached by someone, you being the hoarder, um, and someone, someone else, um, who's trying to help you get rid of your possessions to improve the situation, or even simply to make their own situation better, uh, someone approaches you and uh, starts to tell you to discard something or everything or most things. And uh, the way they could uh, go about it would be perhaps to say something like, hey, uh, this is garbage. Uh, why don't you throw this out? Or perhaps a considerably less uh, patient and polite uh, way to say the same. Perhaps they will be angry at you. Perhaps they will confront you if they are, uh, say, a significant other who's considerably fed up with the problematic situation. So, or it could be your therapist, a counselor of some kind, um, a hoarding specialist, a book author. Um, so they just come in and right off the bat, they will tell you, why don't you throw this out? This is garbage. And when, however, you might uh, formulate that. And the problem with this is that they are skipping to conclusions. They made an assumption about the item, about its value, about its uh, significance to you. By the way, um, I'll be talking more about value and how it is itself and a highly ambiguous and uh, debatable concept. Uh, so they've made all of these assumptions and they are giving you the conclusion. You should throw this out. And um, if my experience is anything to go by, they will not be asking you um, what, what do you want to do with this? Uh, in a sort of neutral, uh, no pressure, encouraging, uh, gentle sort of way, they will be insisting on their solution to this problem. And uh, of course, this was most likely to only uh, end up one way with resistance, with um, both parties feeling like they are getting nowhere with um, uh, the, uh, them being strong armed into um, either accepting the situation the way it is or um, an undesirable outcome of some sort that they have been forced into. This is fundamentally what I believe is wrong with this whole uh, dilemma. 
disposal, um, getting rid of something is the perhaps the final or one of the most final uh, steps in uh, dealing with an item, an object, a possession. Uh, so starting there is really putting the cart before the horse. It's skipping to the conclusions and uh, skipping all of the intermediate work required in establishing a more natural way of doing it. The other problem with this is that uh, someone is in effect uh, trying to impose their own value judgment on you. Um, something that they've decided for themselves and uh, they are just giving it for you to accept hopefully according to them this is wrong this is just wrong this is not how you deal with things this is not how you deal with your own things whoever you are and whatever the thing is this is not the way to do it you ask in a, without any prejudice, without any preconceived notions. What is this thing to you? What does it mean to you? What is its purpose? Why is it here? Perhaps even why is it in this particular place, in this particular position? And um, what should be done about it? What's the, what is, it, is the intent? Um, what is your relation to this thing and uh, then only then accordingly um, what should be done with it and that part isn't so why don't we dispose of it but rather what should we do about it what is the best and reasonable and practical or whatever way to deal with it and only then can you uh, begin to uh, consider a natural and uh, appropriate solution to it. Uh, so uh, as long as this style is uh, being used, it is more uh, the preconceived notions uh, style is being used is it's more counterproductive it's more inhibiting any uh, coping progress than anything else I believe so and uh, there's plenty of other angles which we'll be taking a look at uh, shortly but gotta start somewhere and I figured I might as well open up the discussion with the biggest problem that I see and there will be plenty of others as well as better ways.